Hey Leos, it's Sunny, and this is your weekly for the week of September 14th, 2015. So hopefully all my Leos have fun this weekend. I am um, picking up on four major arcana cards, so this is going to be a um, fairly big change for you guys for this week. I am picking up that um, really big possibility for it being, um, well of it being for the better for um, many of you. So yeah. Um, Please take this time to allow for your inner child to come through. I keep picking up on like children energy. So if you do have children right now, pay attention to your babies. Um, understand the messages that they're trying to give to you because um, this may be your angel speaking through them to you. Or if you do not have kids, or this, this may go for people with children as well. Um, stop stressing so much and allow for your inner child to come through. Um, if you want to, like, maybe take your kid to the park and maybe play, like, with them. Like, maybe swing on the swing, slide down the slide, um, play on the little teeter-totter little thingy, and just have fun. Like, I really do feel like a lot of you, like, you just need to have fun and just allow yourself to, um, stop stressing so much, okay? So let's get into the reading. I am picking up that a lot of you, your intuition is trying to, okay, well, I'm, for some reason I keep picking up on the word warn you. Okay, so I'm going to read this two different ways. Your intuition is trying to warn you of something that you may be kind of close-minded to or fairly nonchalant to. All right, so this may be um, health-wise, this may be uh, you ignoring your intuition you may be um, ignoring your intuition on maybe a new beginning or maybe um, your love situation um, whatever the case may be yeah be careful of this again picking up on be careful of fuck body relationships be careful of you giving your body to the wrong people be careful of opportunities coming your way um, it may seem good okay and you need to be careful about that like if it's too good to be true then more than likely it's too good to be true okay so be careful about that pay attention to your finances um make sure you build your foundation up i am picking up that like any legal issues going on please be careful about that um i am picking up that some of you like you may have issues with your neighbors or landlord this week so that's really interesting Alrighty, but I am picking up, um, on a brighter note, your intuition may be preparing you for a new beginning. Alright, it's kind of very similar to warning, you like, you need to keep your, your eyes open to things. So, please pay attention to that. I am picking up on some secrets and mystery heading your way. So, you know, like, just be open to any and everything that can happen. Don't be close-minded. Don't have this one-track mind upon things, all right? Just be open to any and every single thing that can happen to you, okay? Um, I am picking up once again, like, please trust your instincts. Because some of you, like, you may ignore it, okay? Because you may be too much into your head. Like, you may be, like, stressing a lot. So be careful of that energy. I am picking up that brighter days are heading your way when it comes to your finances. Um, and you're gaining some sort of understanding towards your finances. Um, I am picking up that a lot of you, like, you may need to go back to school or you need to um, pay more attention to your schoolwork or things that you need to learn more about. Okay. Um, this is going to be a really good time for you guys to learn more and... Be open to things because I feel like your energy is going to be open to a lot, okay? And you are um, receiving a lot of messages, so be open to that. Like, this may be messages from, like, outside energy. This may be messages from your dreams, from your intuition. I keep saying intuition, so please trust your intuition. I am picking up that a lot of you, you need to pay attention to what your body and your dreams tell you. So, a lot of dreams coming to you well maybe a lot of dreams a lot of messages coming to you so please pay attention to that i'm going to keep talking about it because i want you guys to understand that all right um but i am picking up that a lot of you um you need to hold yourself up at a pedestal okay and it's funny because the typical stereotype for leos like a lot of you like you're really self-centered and you feel as if you you know everything should go your way However, some of you are like that, no offense, my rising is in Leo, and I know a lot of Leo motherfuckers, so, I mean, it is what it is, just accept it, but, um, I am picking up that for 
my really shy and submissive Leos, um, maybe you need to hold yourself up at a pedestal and like honestly treat yourself good, especially when it's involving your body. Everyone really doesn't deserve your body, okay? However, if you are dealing with another Leo, this may be their sun, their moon, and or their rising, I am picking up that um, you just may not be seeing eye to eye with this Leo person. You may be too busy focusing on the details, and this may be involving you. Like Maybe you're just too busy seeing the details of something, and you're ignoring what it is that you need to see. So be careful of you ignoring things, okay? I'm also picking up that if you are tied into an earth sign person, earth signs are Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, you may gain a, an understanding with an earth sign person. Um, and this may be the sun, the moon, and or the rising. Um, you may have some children or you may feel really innocent towards um, an earth sign person. And if not an earth sign person, I do feel as if um, they're going to offer you something. Like they seem really jolly. Yeah, really jolly, really happy-go-lucky. Um, they seem really, really earthy, really grounded. And they have like a, a lot of knowledge about themselves. So that's really interesting. Um, I am seeing that your home life and your emotional side, you may be too much into your head. You may be um, placing illusions upon yourself. Maybe like you want more within your home life. Um, I am picking up that some of you, like you may get pregnant this week. So that's really interesting. Be careful about that, you know, like, because I do feel like the other person, like they may not be ready for that kind of commitment, okay? I am picking up that a lot of you, um, you may be dealing with the Pisces, and this may be their moon or sun and or the rising. Um, you may gain some happiness with the Pisces. Um, you and this Pisces person, like you may be meeting each other's family and or friends. But I am picking up that some of you, um, you may feel kind of dissatisfied from a Pisces person. Um, maybe you find that like they're too emotional or they're too secretive. All right. So honestly, depends. However, I am picking up that the truth is coming to the light upon your emotional side and upon um, um, relationships that you are in, that you are um, in right now. So yeah, you may discover that this person is lying to you, or they're being really shady and sneaky. They may have someone else, and you are realizing that. Okay, but the message of this week for you guys. Mm a death card so a lot of you like you are getting a new beginning and this is tying into like a lot of messages coming to you um stop stressing so much like really good energy is trying to come to you guys just accept it all right a lot of you like you are um le you are leaving out of a dark place aka you are breaking out of your cocoon and it's time for you to gain your butterfly wings so don't be in your cocoon longer than you have to be all right um don't be depressed longer than you have to be okay so be careful of you like just being in a really really weird funk all right i do feel like this is gonna be a really good positive week for a lot of you just be open to it and just be accepting that good things you know is coming your way so try to have a good week this um this week my leos and i will see you guys next week bye